Hey what's up guys welcome back to my channel for today's video I'm gonna show you how you can fill your sketches with color the easy and the fast way there are multiple ways that I'm going to explain and you can choose the one that suits your style better keeping in mind that I'm using clip studio paint so there are gonna be some subtle differences so without any further ado, let's get started. As you can see, I'm putting my line art in a group, like the initial sketch, the line art, or any tries I did. Then below it, I make a new layer and call it base, which refers to the base color. So method number one, I choose a color, then a brush. I prefer a hard round one, then I go manually. So the pros of this one is how accurate it can be. So it left no gaps. You are making a hundred percent sure that you are reaching edges. And regarding the shape of the brush, you can fill small or large areas. Like some people use a squared shape brush. Since most of their lines are straight, but the cons of this method is that it is so boring and time consuming. Also you can easily go outside edges or borders and use erasers a lot to fix these mistakes, so keep that in mind. Method number two is using the lasso tool. So what you're doing is going freely like drawing on the edges of your sketch or whatever area you want to fill and then after you finish selecting the area you either use a fill tool or you can hit alt plus backspace to fill it with color as you see the pros of this one is it actually a faster one also easier and saves much more time than the manual one but for a guy like me who does not have a steady hands also poor enough to have a screen tablet it is much harder to keep it on edges so for me it will take like millions of years to finish filling the sketch since i'll be leaving too much areas and adding others to be erased so i prefer doing it manually if i have to choose method number three is using a selection pen and what that does is drawing a line on the edges and then use the fill tool to fill within. And what I love about this one, it is so fast and it can be accurate for those rich ones I mentioned before. No envy in here. Also when you use the fill tool it does not make a gap line between the line I made with selection and the filled area. As we're going to see later on other methods. You can also change the size of the brush to make it more accurate on the edges. The next one is not considered a method since it is the same concept which is making a shape with lines and fill inside of it. But this time you can do it with freehand. And that's all. But what that does despite the previous one is when you use the fill tool it leaves a visible gap between them which you need to press the fill tool twice to make that line disappears so you have the choice to do so or you can just use the brush to fill inside but now you are sure that you won't get out of the borders since you already painted them method number four is actually using the fill tool without selecting no areas and make sure to select the first one which is refer only to editing layer but as you see it can be done because of two reasons the first one is you can't fill on a sketch on a separate layer it will automatically fill the whole area since it is considered for the fill tool as a closed edges rectangle which is the canvas. So in order to do that, you need to close all the gaps on the edges of your sketch. And since I'm messy while sketching, it is hard for me to do it from the first time. So what I actually do 
is I draw a border on a separate layer which is a closed shape. I'm making sure that all the lines are connected. Then I fill inside but as I said it is going to be on the same layer. Now notice when I did the fill tool it left some areas. Cause these areas are actually closed shapes inside the big shape. So you need to fill it separately. Now a good way to color your lines is to clip a layer above the sketch layer and fill it with a color. And it will change your lines color. We use it to blend the lines with the colors inside. Like using this color to blend well with the skin tones and so on. Method number 5 is also the fill tool. But this time we choose the second option which is refer other layers. And what I love about this one is that you can choose a separate layer and it actually fills automatically any closed area. But it can be so boring if you have too much shapes within the sketch. So what I do is I toggle off the sketch layer and keep the border one and then fill within. So it takes much larger area and the cons about this one, if you zoomed in, you're gonna see too much small gaps, especially on the lines itself. It may happen since again, I'm not the cleanest ever. So having too much overlapping lines leaves too much gaps. So I have to go over it with a brush. Method number six. The last one is actually the lasso fill tool, which is practically the same as the lasso tool I mentioned before. With the same cons and pros, the only additional pro is it automatically fills the area after you finish selecting it. So no need to use a fill tool or press an alt and backspace. And that's it guys, there are lots of ways to fill a sketch and it can be slightly different from a program to another. Also, some tools may not act the same from one to another. As an example, I mentioned the fill tool needs to be on the same layer, but you can select the area with like a magic wand and then fill it with color on a separate layer. So there are numerous ways and helpful tools that can work with each other to give you the best result. So I hope you enjoyed this one and see you guys on another video. Thanks for watching.